Hi, it's Stephanie with the Doc Squad sharing with you how you can use a Google Forms with SEL. So SEL is social emotional learning. We know especially now with our students having been home quarantined for quite some time, some students were going to continue with the process of online learning, that there are, have been some instances where the students really need another layer of support. It's reaching out to students to find out how they're doing and checking in with them. So what this form does, if you look at this, I started off with kind of gauging how they're feeling. So am I feeling mad, meh, happy, excited, anxious, a range of emotions. And then as we go in, this form is set up to capture information, including their email address, class period, because once they respond, that's gonna be in a spreadsheet and I'll be able to use that data. And then I put in our morning message. So I can update this one particular form and change it out each day if I have a morning message, or I can delete the section if I choose to, if I don't use that morning message platform, or I can actually make a copy of this form and each form will stand for that specific day. So notice this is a morning message I had back in May and is asking the student, make it Monday, what is one thing, recipe, craft, or project that you would like to learn to make? And then I get into the emotions. And this is the beauty of a Google form. It has what's called branching, which means based on how someone responds, it's going to direct them to another section. So what I did was I set up the questions first. So it's, how are you? And the students will respond to one of those ranges of emotions. And if they're feeling mad, I have a section that I created called, I'm feeling mad. And then if they're feeling meh, another section for that. So this is what it goes to. So let's say I'm feeling mad it'll direct them to this video. And they'll watch this like three, four minute video on anger management and how they can deal with those feelings. And then to make sure that they've watched it, then I'm asking a question, kind of gauging to make sure that the information that was there, that they've actually paid attention. And then very important piece, this is the support piece. Now that they've watched the video, do you want to talk to someone? So on the campus, perhaps you have a counselor or you have a behavior specialist or someone is going to direct them to speak to someone. So you'll notice if they say yes, I'd like to talk to someone, it's going to bring them to my seventh section. I would possibly like to talk someone to someone about my feelings. If they say no, now the form will submit. And if they say maybe, well there's still a chance they want to talk to someone. So I'll bring it down to that last section. So on that final section, they're going to either talk to a counselor or assistant principal, behavior specialist, or maybe they've not had a change of heart and they don't want to talk to someone. But once they submit this form, then as a teacher, I can look at my spreadsheet and each day I pretty much just change that field and see who wants to talk to someone. And then I can forward that information over to someone so that a student has pretty immediate opportunities to kind of discuss their feelings, right? So you're giving them that first support with a video or something to read, maybe a positive affirmation to kind of get them pumped. Now, even if they say, I'm feeling great, well, what can we do with that? So if I'm feeling anxious, maybe some meditation, but I'm feeling excited, you know, that could be a good thing. And this is a really cool video, it's watch our feelings. And it's, here's a question, I'm glad that you're excited, and in the video, one sister doesn't like the other sister and she writes some really hateful things and then realizes they're so mean. So based on the video, how would you be able to help someone who was feeling discouraged or upset to be more positive and excited like that you're feeling, right? So even if they're feeling great, this is an opportunity for them to spread that positive energy. Okay, so on the student's end, this is what it looks like. So I've started filling it out as if I'm a student, I'm putting in my email address, um, you can have the students get that information captured automatically, of course. And here's their class period. Here's that morning message. How are you feeling? And I felt meh. So what is it going to do? Click next. So on the student's view, this is what they see. So once again, um, still the same top, but I said that I was feeling meh, right? Which is kind of like not good, not bad, kind of in between. You know what? Maybe you need some inspiration. So I'm directing them to a video with some inspirational quotes. And the question is, Based on the video, what are five quotes? Now, of course, as I go along as an educator, I can change up some of this content so the student that's feeling met every single day will not have the same video. Um, but then again, that last question based on how you're feeling. So I'm going to say, would I like to talk to someone? I'm going to say no. And then based on my no. So once a student clicks submit, they're going to come here to this click submit to finish. So let's click submit together. 
So remember, this is the last thing the students see, which is going to be a message you can customize. By default, Google Forms always has a message that says your response has been submitted, but you can tailor this to your own needs, and I'm just repeating our morning message as a prompt and a reminder. You can also place in here, great opportunity is maybe your guidance counselor's information, their contact information, just as a follow-up for the SEL support. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you complete the feedback form and I will send you out your own copy of this that you can customize for yourself. Thank you, Stephanie from the Doc Squad.